since you said the Lord is leading us to open a new church in the neighboring community, who do you think we should send there, sir? Um, the person in my mind is uh, Pastor Joe. Pastor Joe? Yes. I don't think Pastor Joe should be sent there. Why? If I may ask. In this church, we have a policy that says a pastor should remain in his branch for four to five years. And Pastor Joe has just been posted to his church for just a year now. That's true. I think you are right. I think we should send one of our fire brand evangelists from here to the place. Or well, one of the pastors that are not doing much in the headquarters. Yes. But I think Daddy should take this matter to the Lord in prayer. Madam Spiritual Prophetess, this is what I dislike about you. You always take everything for prayer. We are talking of policy, you are talking of prayer. There is a policy in this church and all this policy must be followed. Don't mind that. She's just been too spiritual. After all, we have so many pastors in this headquarters. They are not doing much. And at the end of the month, we will still pay them. Uh -uh. One person is not enough. We can say two people. It's okay. That's okay. Um, let us prayerfully pick one or two pastors that will go there with a church planting committee and let them come up with their modality. I think that would be okay. Yes. Yes. That's okay. Thank you. God, let us pray. Father, we thank you. So, uh, madam, what would you want the Lord to do for you? <laughs> mm, I just want to thank God for your life, sir. We thank God. We thank God. You see, I, I was greatly blessed with your message in the revival yesterday. Oh, the revival. <laughs> yes, sir. We bless the name of the Lord. <laughs> so, in appreciation to that, I brought this small gift. Ah. And I wanted to pray for you, sir. <laughs> you call this small? This is big. Ah, God bless you. Amen, sir. I'm so grateful for this gesture. Welcome, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I pray that your hands will be upon this, your daughter. Amen. You will bless her. Amen. You will promote her and promote her business. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. God bless Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. God yes, bless sir. Yes, sir. But, but, sir, I don't know, maybe you can come to my house to pray for my family. I mean, my husband and my two daughters. Oh. Uh, but... Why wouldn't they come for the revival? Uh, you see, my husband doesn't love going to church. But hmm. he loves uh, people praying for him. Okay. But for him to come to the church is a big problem. It's alright. That shouldn't be a problem. Okay, but sir. it will have to be after the revival. Uh, no problem, sir. It's okay. Thank it's you right. very much, sir. All right, then. And I pray that God will increase your anointing. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Thank you very Thank much, you, sir. sir. God bless you. Amen, sir. So greet your husband and your I daughters. will, sir. I will, All right, sir. Then. Thank you very much. Yeah. Uh, madam, sir? please, you can let me call the next person. It's okay, sir. All right. Then. God bless you. Good afternoon, sir. Ah, good afternoon. Yes, sir. Please have your seat. I'm Funke, my okay, name. Okay, okay. A friend of mine uh, told me about the program going on. So oh, I came I to see. Revival yesterday. Oh, you went to the Revival? I came to that Revival. That is yesterday. nice. So, what would you want the Lord to do for you? Sir, I want you to pray for me concerning my business. Your business? Yes, sir. What kind of business do you do? I do travel out, bring goods to Nigeria. Oh, oh, I see. What kind of goods do you bring in? How is his condition now? Sir, he's responding to treatments, according to the doctor. Ah, uh, uh, Let's call a spade a spade, and not family payments. Uh, what happened? Uh, sir, the doctor said the wound from the gunshot has badly affected his two legs, sir. My God. And the only option is to amputate the two legs. What? The two legs? Do you know you caused what happened to that young man? How, Baba? Tell me, who asked you to send him there? But, uh, but he, Baba, he, he's anointed and gifted to, to work there. Mm. When has anointing and gift become the determinant factor in divine placement? 
if you remember, I specifically showed you the prepared vessel for the assignment in that community. A new assignment? Yes. Follow me. That community needs the light. Ha! Baba! The cloud of darkness in that community is very thick. That's why I'm sending you there to start a new work for me. Which of my pastor? Who among my pastor do you want me to say? As him call me. Ah. No, Baba. Ah. See, I just posted him to a branch, not up to a year. And our policy in this church says that a pastor should remain in a branch for four to five years. And if he's doing well in that branch, he, should, he can still continue. So your policy is more important? and divine direction. Good afternoon, sir. Hello. Hello. Hey, how Good are afternoon, you? Sir. Pastor Hello. Joe. Thank you. You're welcome. I've been looking how for you? you. I'm here. Hmm. You allow your mom-made policy to override divine direction, thereby endangering the life of that young man. I'm sorry. If he should die, his blood will be required at your hand. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> 